All right, let's get rolling, everybody. We had a sun down today at uh, 547, so about uh, exactly an hour behind us at this point. Visibility is looking better tonight than they did last night. Lake effect snow has gone bye bye. But for how long are those snowflakes bye bye? Not that long, actually, not necessarily lake effect tomorrow, but a cold front will be arriving. And uh, I think uh, at this point tomorrow night, we will have light snow showers around. They will have uh, started earlier than that, though. I think late morning and around midday, some of the snow showers start to trickle in from the north and roadways, which are in great shape uh, at the current time, will start to show some deterioration as there will be an accumulation of a little bit. I'll talk about uh, how much in just a second. 13 degrees on a thermometer in Grand Rapids, a southwest wind. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Southwesterly, typically a milder direction. Uh, it's not really warming us up yet, but we'll start to rise in the overnight after we dip down to about seven degrees. That's what I've got for an overnight low seven officially at these time increments, though. I've got 10, eight and then back to 10 on south southwest winds at 10 to 15 gusting to 30 miles per hour in the Muskegon area. I think that actually starts to slide southward. Some of those more brisk winds into Holland and South Haven as the hours progress tonight. We've got a temp of 13 now. That's an actual thermometer reading in GR 16 in Fremont 15 in Big Rapids. Rapids and this zone right here where my hand is going across you got down into the minus double digit territory last night maybe not so much in Oceana but certainly Nuevo and Macosta counties got down to minus two in GR in this past overnight having said that it was only 10 in the overnight because you retained the clouds in Kalamazoo look at the winds out of the south at about uh, 10 to 15 Holland you get up to Muskegon it cranks up more so 30 miles per hour some of those wind gusts wind chills they're down there feeling like minus seven at the moment in three rivers so you know I've said it a number of times tonight and it is actually very true you go outside you want to come right back inside warm that car up if you got anywhere to go because it is quite cold in the interior of those vehicles and you know that going back the past few weeks HRRR model that stands for high resolution rapid refresh it's got the clear conditions here for the next several hours, but clouds will build back in high level clouds, then mid level clouds, low level clouds deep into the overnight and through tomorrow morning. You know, perhaps when the sun comes up tomorrow morning, it won't be a firm overcast, though there will be a fair amount of clouds, but those clouds will lower and thicken through the morning and late morning into the afternoon. Uh, there will be snow showers building in, uh, particularly tomorrow afternoon into the evening. That's the best time frame to get some of these light snow showers. They'll drop across the viewing area. Look at the snow amounts, though. They're not great. I mean, we're talking about an inch or less in some spots, but but enough to slicken up those roadways. Seven day forecast. Let's go to it, Doug and Janice. Another similar disturbance later Saturday night into early Sunday morning could give us a coating to an inch. So slick roads at that time, not a big system. If there is going to be a bigger one, I'm monitoring later Tuesday into Wednesday. Temperature is a little bit milder at that time, so it could be kind of a rain to wintry mix to snow scenario. And that's a system we haven't seen much this winter season thus far coming up from the south with Gulf of Mexico moisture. Uh, so yeah, we've got some uh, colder days ahead, but also milder ones too. 37, 35. I think we're going colder into that following weekend. Everybody, Arctic air will return uh, that following Saturday and Sunday.